people what up what's good y'all know what time it is it's balance update day where we look at the changes and we talk about them y'all be sure to hit that like button be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't 70 percent of y'all haven't what y'all doing man hit that button we're on the road to 3k let's get into the patch man we only got three cards today but we do also have to look at scorn and uh friga friga freak uh right so let's get into it man black swan let's get it started let's get it started <laughs> Let me zoom out a little bit, y'all. So, we all knew that her old stats were three cost five power on reveal. Until the end of next turn, your one cost cards cost zero. And now her new ability is two, three, activate. Until the end of next turn, your one cost cards cost zero. I mean, they got they got the yellow arrow, right? They got the yellow arrow, but this, this is just a green arrow to me. This is just a buff to me, right? Because the simply the fact that, you know, you don't have to play her on turn five to dump all your one cost cards at the end of the game you know with hit monkey or something you're able to control your well you're still able to do that but you're able to control you know what turn you're going to do that now so obviously like i said hit monkey so you know the bounce decks where you know you're, you're using falcon you're using beast to send all your cards a lot most of the time a lot of one cost cards back to your hand right so makes that a lot better you're gonna be able to slide her in you know take out somebody like maybe maybe bishop i don't know but he, she also works with bishop as well because what you get your six six one cost cards out on turn six and then plus six to your bishop who already probably got buffed throughout the the rest of the game i mean th this is just great granted she did lose a couple of power right she did lose a little bit of power but i mean Y'all y'all just tell me like how this how this isn't just a buff. Right, let's go ahead and read what they have to say. We revealed earlier that Black Swan and Hell Cow would be changing to activate as a bit of an experiment in seeing how the mechanic could be used to freshen up some older cards where excuse me on the reveal wasn't quite getting wasn't quite getting the job done. We didn't reveal that doing so would also come with some stat updates making an effect activate can be riskier because it requires playing the card earlier in the game to pro time it properly for black swan's case that's extra tr true because bl playing black swan on turn five won't be fast enough to get the cost reduction remember activate resolves with your other plays so you can't activate for a same turn cost discount so we're dropping the cost to ensure more opportunities to get Black Swan into play. Actually, you know what? They do bring a, and let's read this last sentence. It's possible this update won't land Black Swan in a better position and we're open to a reversion in that case. However, the risks seem appropriate given Black Swan has been languish. I hate when, they, I just hate when they use that word. I hate when they say languishing, lacking. We know what it means, but I, I just hate, I just don't like that word. Language swing on multiple metrics. That is a good point that they bring up though, right? So, you know, if you if you act you happen to draw black swan, um you happen to draw black swan on turn five, she's basically useless now, whereas you would still be able to play her if you drew her on turn five and then going into turn six, you'll be able to get all your one cost guys out. But now if you draw her on turn five, I mean, you can't activate her on turn five as well. So, I mean, it's just three points of power and essentially nothing for it. So I guess she is a little bit worse in that regard. So you're probably just going to be at have You're probably going to have to definitely play her earlier, obviously. But I mean, I think I think it's cool because now instead of, you know, just playing her on turn five, going for all your ones on six, like I said, you could play her on two activator on three you could you got turn four five and six now so it's pretty good man y'all let me know what y'all think because we on to that cow the cow of hell man it look it look like so we see sword masters we see hell cow hella is back are y'all ready i know y'all don't like hella in the comment section i know y'all don't are y'all ready for it though get ready activate so it, it went from four eight on reveal to four six activate discard two cards from your hand get ready for hella right I don't, I don't really think i need to say much i mean just get ready for it you know what i'm saying you're not your look the problem with hell cow was i mean you just 
I feel like you just want to use Modoc instead. Right? They they had the same stats or Modoc cost one more, but he did more for the same stats. Right? So instead of Hell Cow, you could put proxima midnight as your other four cost card alongside dracula but obviously you know that's not the only way to use the discard rights you got you got your all your discard cards proxima corvus all that type of stuff and then you got your hella cheese right so it, it wasn't even worth it to, to run on that because i mean modok and, and corvus are just going to do the job for you better and um now it has a niche in that now it now it has a role in that now you can play it and not have to worry about discarding somebody you don't like because you're going to be able to control when they get discarded and the, the cool thing about it is even if you play it on turn five you can act can you activate it on turn six yes it's not it's not like black swan where when you activate her the next turn she affects the next turn when you activate hell cow it's going to affect that turn six so you know if you if you play it on turn four let's say you moda or whatever later right you're going to be able to actually hella because you didn't discard it from hell cow but you also you know what i'm saying you also get to activate it so i don't, I don't know you got like apocalypse or something in your hand or just some more guys in your hand like you're basically able to control it now and that's what differentiates it from you know moda corvus right and, and, and gives it a, a niche right and on top of that it's also good because this is a uh what, what is this like a pool two card i'm pretty sure it's like a pool two or pool three uh, oh it's pool three so it's a free card that everybody has access to i didn't even bring that up right because obviously we had symbiote spider-man who's a series five season pass so a lot of people probably couldn't get it if you can if you weren't going to pay for the season pass or you couldn't afford to buy the season pass you couldn't get spider-man she was another season pass card so unless you drew her in one of the the uh spotlight catches which you probably didn't because she was bad you still wouldn't have her so but now at least everybody at least everybody has the opportunity to guarantee you one activate card and we could probably expect um you know some more activate uh more cards to be changed to activate right i saw some people talking about zabu but we gonna see man let's go ahead and read what they had to say though so if we move black swan down to two why why are we shrinking hella not all effects are created equal exactly being able to time the discard on hell cow makes it substantially stronger than the arm reveal in a couple of key ways not the least of which you could curve hell cow and the modok without losing your modok to reflect that sh shift in strength we weaken hell cow a bit um while we see how strong it proves to be it's gonna be very strong y'all he's just gonna be able to obviously hella got nerfed but you're just going to be able to cheese the same way same way you were especially if you got the black knight right getting rid of death um excuse me uh infinite you know what i'm saying somebody strong get your ebony blade down right bringing bringing that back with either hella or ghost rider some you for you you're, my bad y'all you're not getting the ebony blade back you're getting the ebony blade from discarding them and then you're getting the car back from ghost rider or hella and you're not discarding your hella because you can control when you're discarding now because hell cow is an activate car yeah i mean it's gonna be too much we already know this y'all let me know what y'all think this is going to be broken it will <laughs> last but not least for the you know for the card changes at least at least this patch changes we got sword master but then we y'all know we're gonna talk about scorn and big friga right so last but not least we got sword master went from discard a card to your hand from your hand with the same stats to his now on reveal discard an odd caustic card from your hand now you know what to the at first glance this seems like a good change but you know what we actually gonna do y'all let's go ahead and and let's go ahead and look at the cards right and then let's look at discard cards <laughs> let's look at discard cards let me make sure i'm on released now discard an odd a odd caustic card an odd cost why is that so hard for me to say an odd cost card you're never gonna discard apocalypse that's bad 
you're going to discard blade that's bad because you want to play blade you're going to discard corvus that's bad because you want to play see what i'm you're you're never gonna hit dracula now right you're never gonna hit hella ghost rider but you're you're not hitting any of the cards that you actually want to hit swarm wolverine granted i mean you got x23 but who's really running her on a discard deck right when you when you have corvus you're 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 not getting rid of wolverine you're not getting rid of swarm you're not getting rid of where's proxima at i don't know where she at she's somewhere in here but you're not getting rid of her you're not getting rid of apocalypse you're not getting rid of helicarrier <laughs> like come on bro like it, it doesn't even do it it doesn't do anything for the discard archetype itself but you might be able to run some cool stuff with sword master i guess outside of um outside of a typical discard deck right because and on on top of that y'all you're not even able to really use it on on the uh the version of discard where you're stacking a lot of six cost cards because it's only gonna it's one three and five like what what you got some rsm that you no <laughs> right so but you might just thinking off the top of my head like you might be able to do something with um let's say you got black knight and red skull you know what i'm saying you're gonna be able to discard your red skull get the ebony blade um out of that you know maybe bring him back with but then again do you really do you really want to run red skull outside of a sauron deck probably not or outside of something with zero you probably don't you know what i'm saying you probably don't you don't even want to run sword master on a on a um silver surfer deck because you you spamming three cost cards you don't want to get rid of you don't want to get rid of sebastian you don't want to get rid of you know what i'm saying you don't want to get rid of brood so this is actually this is actually some this is actually worse <laughs> for all the reasons we just talked about right but let's go ahead and read similarly similar to how we updated moon knight we've decided to create an alternative uh, alternate option with sword master we did debate changing the stats and yes it does look weird that moon knight is a 3-3 and sword master is bigger however in addition to discarding an enemy card moon knight just has more and stronger synergy synergies proxima stature evil wolverine right apocalypse sword master has x23 and ghost rider maybe a different kind of hella deck given the gap in our sword master decks not feeling too scary we decided to wait and see rather than preemptively adjust the power down so that they, they they're not they're not even sure <laughs> they're not even sure like now but here's the thing it's it's bad now it's worse now but let's let's go to, let's go ahead and now take a look at scorn because i mean that's the end of the patches right we got I me mean, we got bug fixes um they talked about some stuff with the gold uh, i'm not really interested in that y'all to be honest but sword master is a little bit worse now right only his odd odd caustic cards but we got scorn coming soon y'all scorn is a odd is an odd number when you discard this return it to your hand and give it plus two give it give plus two power to itself and one of your cards in play i mean come on come on scorn yeah yeah so now you now you can hit your um right now you can run your colleen wing hit scorn one time go ahead on turn three go ahead and play your sword master so while it's not good it's not better now it's gonna work a lot better with this card in particular um and i guess we could be excited for that right so i, I guess you know it, we could kind of view the sword master change as a a preemptive a preemptive buff because when does scoring come out uh october 15th so next month yeah next month but last but not least you guys we're gonna be looking at um friga she was in the data mine a couple of months ago or like last month that we looked at but they didn't have her stats now they got her stats right so four cost six power on reveal add a copy of the last card you played to your hand if able i like it right i like it because now you know 
and, and it, it's it's funny to look at the car it's funny to look at all these like four cost cars that basically are white queen but better like you got nick fury you know what i mean you got um moon girl is her name moon girl? i'm thinking of moon it's too many it's too many characters y'all you got moon girl now you got friga friga right so i mean this is cool i'm trying to think of what you could uh what you could use it like what type of so oh you know what if you i i can see myself running this on something with brew let's say you forge into brew turn four you friga and then turn five you can um brood again instead of absorbing man or something like that if if you know if you didn't pull your absorbing man or maybe um let's say you like brood something with mockingbird something with the collector right because you're adding cards to your hand you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm thinking of some brood stuff though so i mean i mean this is a cool this is an interesting card right it seemed like she has you know a lane whereas like i said you know white queen it seemed like she the only type of car type of kind of these cars that doesn't really have a, a a place right but she got all them variants anyways that's gonna be the end of it people what's your favorite change what's your least favorite change do you agree me do you agree with me do you hate what i said let me know in the comments as always man y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe on the road to 3,000 subs i appreciate y'all for watching and i'll see y'all next time